Do you travel a lot? Have you ever wondered whether the Delta SkyMiles American Express credit card is actually worth it for you? For those of you who love to travel, this card may be a great fit for you. So today we're gonna explore the pros and cons. Hi everyone, I'm Jenna and welcome back to Roundup Save, where our goal is to demystify money to help you feel more in control of your money, whether that be through savings, earning, investing, or even achieving financial independence. For those of you who love to travel, the Delta Sky Miles American Express card may be a great fit for you. So let's dive in and explore the pros and cons. First off, there are three different versions of the credit card that you can get. What are the different types of Delta Sky Miles credit cards that you can get? Well, there are three tiers. Gold, Platinum, and Reserve. Gold is the most basic Delta Sky Miles card and has a $99 annual fee. They also have a very low minimum spend compared to other cards at just $2,000 in the first six months and that gives you about 70,000 bonus miles. Platinum is the mid-tier card and that has a $250 annual fee. Of course, to get this, you must spend $4,000 in the first six months to get a 90,000 bonus miles. And finally, the reserve is the highest tier with the highest annual fee of $550. For this card, you have to spend $6,000 in the first six months to also get bonus miles of 90,000. So as you can see, sometimes Delta will have limited time offers to give you more bonus miles than what they normally do. So you may be wondering, what are the benefits? The Delta SkyMiles credit card is a great way to earn rewards and save money on flights. With every purchase you make, you'll earn miles that can be redeemed for flights, hotel stays, car rentals, and so much more. Plus, like I mentioned before, you'll receive a big bonus when you spend a certain amount in the first few months of having it. I think one of the best things about the Delta Sky Miles credit card is that you can use your miles to travel to over a thousand destinations worldwide with no blackout dates or seat restrictions, and you can fly when and where you want. And of course, if you're a frequent traveler, you can earn even more miles by using your card for everyday expenses like groceries, gas, dining out, and so much more. I think another great feature of this card is that it comes with a free checked bag on every flight, and this can save you a lot of money if you're someone who travels with a lot of luggage. Plus, you'll also get priority boarding, which means that you'll be the first one to board the plane and find your seat. Finally, if you live in Atlanta or in a city where Delta has a big presence, this card can be totally worth it because if that's the most common carrier you use, you're gonna earn more miles every time you fly that airline. So for example, if you lived in Chicago where the major airline is United, I'm not sure it would make the most sense to have a Delta credit card unless there was a specific Delta flight route that you flew all the time. What are the disadvantages? Well, I think one of the biggest drawbacks of the Delta SkyMiles credit card is the annual fee. As we saw earlier, this can range from $99 to $550 depending on what version of the card you're using. However, if you're a frequent traveler and you use the card often, the rewards you own may outweigh the annual fee based on the different benefits at each tier. I think another potential downside is that redeeming your miles may be more difficult than you expect. While there are no blackout dates or seat restrictions, sometimes availability can be limited, especially during those peak travel times, like around the holidays. Additionally, the number of miles for every flight can really vary depending on the destination, at the time of year, and some of the other factors. So for example, I've seen flights from Atlanta to Bogota for as low as 19,000 miles round trip, which is a steal of a deal, but sometimes these can be in the 60s, 70s, even 80,000s. And finally, it's important to read the fine print before applying for this or any credit card. The interest rates can be high, and if you carry a balance from month to month, you could end up paying more in that interest than you earn in rewards. Like any credit card, I always recommend to only spend what you can afford and to pay off your balance before the end of the month to avoid paying insanely high interest rates. Check out the video we have about compound interest and how it can both help and hurt you depending on if you're investing or if you have debt. I'll link that in the show notes below. There you have it. Those are the pros and cons of the Delta Sky Miles credit card. While there are some potential drawbacks, this card can be a great way to earn rewards and save money on travel. If you like content like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button and like the video. Drop a comment down below and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Roundup Save.